And we know what it is. It's our substance abuse crisis. It infiltrates everything in our society. Workforce, education, our daily lives. So with that acknowledgement, the new governor told lawmakers that the key to solving New Hampshire's crisis of addiction starts in the classroom. Aggressive prevention programs in our schools that start earlier, that are more aggressive, and I think we start need to bring in the parents and the stakeholders into those programs, right? Let's teach the parents what are the warning signs. The governor also called on lawmakers for immediate action on social worker caseloads, specifically the publicly exposed cracks in protective services. Our shortcomings in this area, and there are shortcomings, they're critical, and frankly, they're unacceptable. It's a failure of all of us, and it's a failure of our system. And on the front lines of the drug battle, a pledge of state support. We need to make sure they know that no matter what, we have their back every time. The first Republican governor in 14 years enters office with the benefit of a Republican majority in both the House and Senate. But the 42-year-old Sununu also urged everyone in the room to check any partisan squabbles at the State House door. And it's not easy given the election cycle we just went through. It was negative. It was ugly. All right? A lot of partisan attacks and the personal attacks. That's yesterday. We are here about today and going forward. And I believe if we put that together, we can do great things. As we mentioned a moment ago, uh, Governor Sununu's remarks lasted only about 20 minutes. We don't have official confirmation of this, but it just might be the briefest, uh, the shortest uh, inaugural address ever given in this state. But there's also a reason for that. He came into it without any prepared remarks. He knew what his subject matter was going to be, but everything else was pretty much off the cuff. Probably not what his father did 34 years ago tomorrow. Um, so what did he think of it? Let's bring in Adam Sexton, who has some reaction from the elder Sununu, as well as others who watched today. Yeah, Governor Sununu, the elder, was in proud papa mode today. He was obviously very happy to see his son inaugurated into the office that he held uh, 34 years ago. A, a family story in the making here. Uh, also, we can see some differences in the Sununus here between the father, uh, John E. Sununu, and then Chris Sununu in the style of this speech, kind of off the cuff, a little casual, perhaps a window into how we'll see Chris Sununu governing over the next two years. And how we do it. A brief and informal inaugural speech set the tone for Governor Chris Sununu's first day in office, dispensing with most of the rhetoric and getting down to work. He's going to be all about business, uh, less about politics. I think it's great. I love it. But Democrats say the politics are still there, and they're disappointed the new governor's call for bipartisanship comes boxed in by promises to sign right-to-work legislation and push for business tax relief that could lead to budget cuts. He is putting a stake in the ground on some fairly partisan issues. I certainly remain open to working with the governor, but as I said, was disappointed in some of the statements that he made. While Sununu touched on big picture themes and drew applause from both sides of the aisle for his promise to overhaul DCYF, House Minority Leader Steve Shirtliff says the new governor left a lot out. I wish you'd talked a little bit more about our veterans who are in need in the state. Sununu's inauguration comes almost 34 years to the day that his father, John H. Sununu, was sworn into the office. The family picture they took today includes two governors, a U.S. senator, and 16 grandchildren. It was a great day for the Sununu family. Sununu says his son will bring energy and a fresh perspective to the job. He works hard. He, he cares about details. He spends the time looking at the details. He does his homework. Uh, and, and when he takes a position, it's not a random position. It's something that he's thought about a lot and really believes in.